Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexandra from Cesala Design and in today's video I want to show you how you can make a wrap skirt with inseam pockets. The only wrap pattern that I tried was a wrap dress and I can say it was kind of different. Actually it was much easier to sew. So let's see! First, let's have a look at what you'll need to make this skirt. Between one and one and a half meters of fabric, some extra fabric for the pockets, and that's it. Here you can see all the pattern pieces required to make this skirt. To get to the pattern of my wrap skirt, I used a pencil skirt pattern, which went through some transformation. That being said, let's move to cut the fabric. The difference between the face of the skirt and the back of the skirt is that the back of the skirt has darts. I place the back pattern on the fabric, fold it in two, and I shorten it because the pattern that I use was from another dress which was longer. I measure how long I want my skirt to be, trace it, cut the pattern. I also transfer the dart on the other side by marking with pins. I cut the front panel, which I previously readjust to fit the new skirt. and also cut the face of the skirt. I started to cut the ruffles. Since this was an old piece of fabric from my stash, every sewist has one. I had to use every piece of fabric. And my luck was that I had a very color appropriated fabric for the pocket, also from my stash. The difference between the pockets that I've been doing until now is that now I intend to sew them into the waistband. And these are the pieces that I need to move forward. Moving to the sewing part, I will start with the pockets. But first, I sew the darts from the back of the skirt. And press it. Next, I pin and sew the pockets. I use the serger to finish the edges. I press the seam allowances open to make it easier to sew to the skirt. I attach one side of the pocket to the back of the skirt. I sew it. I attach the other side to the face of the skirt The next step is to close the side seams but before that, use a serger for the edges. I sew the sides. And I also sew 2 cm up, which offers the pocket more stability. I recommend you to make this small stitch only to the pocket that's between the front panel and the back of the skirt. I press open the seam allowances, pin the pocket up and sew it. I'll get next to the ruffle. I gather all my fabric pieces.
and start to sew them together. I use a serger for each stitch and also for one of the edges. I made the hem of the ruffle. I think you already know the drill for this. I've been doing a ruffle on every single video that I made. If you're new, here is how you can make it. Increase the length of your stitch to the maximum. Sew to parallel lines. Gather all the fabric by pulling the two threads. The next step was to pin the ruffle to the skirt. I had to finish also the edge of the ruffle with a stitch. I sew the ruffle 2 cm below the edge of the front panel of the skirt. And I cleaned all that with a serger stitch. The last part was sewing the waistband. I told you that this was a try and error trial. I realized when I wanted to sew the waistband that I needed the face of the skirt to not be completely sewed to the back of the skirt. So I had to open a small portion of the side seam with my seam ripper to make it easier to sew the facing to the front of the skirt. I pinned the facing, which already had an edge, finished with the serger. I sew it to the face of the skirt and use the serger again to clean all the edges. The pocket will be sewed into this stitch. Next, I sew an underlining stitch. I wanted to close this edge with a regular stitch. So I sew first this corner, turn it over. and sew a regular stitch. Getting back to the facing. I had to reinforce the upper stitch of the pocket, so I made another small stitch of 1-2 cm. After that, I sewed the facing to the seam allowance and made a serger stitch. The next step was to make and attach the waistband. I sewed the waistband pieces together since I didn't have a lot of fabric left. I sew it to the front panel and the back of the skirt. And because it was so small, I had to first fix it with a basting stitch. I press it
and sew it. This is how it looks on the inside. The last part was to figure out the method to close the skirt to completely finish it. And I decided to close it with a small fabric loop. To do that, first I had to open again the corner that I just sewed in order to place the loop between the two parts. I pin it, sew it again, I finish the stitch again, and sew a small button on the other side. And this is how it looks in the end. Now I can show you the final look. I actually didn't expect this skirt to look this good. And that was because I knew from the beginning that I only had a small piece of fabric and it was quite a challenge to make it work. As I told you at the beginning of this video, it was a trial and error project, but I love the outcome and I hope that for you it's gonna be easier to sew this skirt. And that's it this week. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or advice, as usual, my comment section is open. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share if you learned something new you enjoy. Until next time, let's find inspiration.